This slide shows our group of members for developing our C couple two. That is the second version of our community coupler that is mainly developed in China. So next I will introduce the background. The first question coming to us why we should develop a new coupler family in China. This is because there was no coupler team in China before 2010, while there are a lot of coupler models developed in China. And the coupler teams outside of China are generally inconvenient to directly serve Chinese models. And we noticed that there are some new requirements regarding couplers from Chinese model development. So C couplers should be able to serve various coupled models regarding uh, models developed in China, especially address the new requirements. So we began to develop C Couple 2 in 2010, and we finished the first version C Couple 1 in 2014. And next, we finished the second ver version C Couple 2 in 2018. And now we are involved in developing the third version C Couple 3. That is planned to be released in 2022, two years later. To develop a new couple of family, we just designed a general structure of couple models with C couple. This general architecture includes two ideas. First, C couple can serve, serve various company configurations in different couple models. Second, a component model can have an identical code version in different company configurations. So motivated by this general architecture, we designed the general software structure of C coupler. It consists of a configuration system, a coupling generator, and a runtime software system. The coupling configuration system can be viewed as a high level language. The coupling generator can be viewed as a compiler that transforms the high level language to low level language that uh, drives the runtime software system. The runtime software system can be viewed as the, for example, physical processor in modern computer. But uh, when we developed the first version C couple one, we did not have enough experiences in couple development. So we tried to simplify the software structure of for C couple one. We did not consider the configuration system and the company generator. We only focused on the runtime software system that is driven by the runtime con configurations that can be viewed as no level language. So first, uh, for the first version C couple one, it achieves some achievements, but uh, has a lot of limitations. For example, it is incompatible with other couplers in the world. It is unable to couple modules into the same component model. It is unfriendly simplified, and it has no reliability due to very limited software testing. Its initialization cost is high, especially in 3D coupling. And uh, we note that the APIs of C Couple 1 will not be further used by the future versions such as C Couple 2 and C Couple 3. As a result, C Couple 1 achieves few applications in real mode development in China. So next I will introduce the C Couple 2. When we developed C Couple 2, motivated by the limitations of C Couple 1, we just improve the software structure. We merge the coupling configuration interface, the coupling generator, and the functional modules together into the same library of C Couple 2. We started to design and develop C Couple 2 in 2016, after two years, when we finished the C Couple 1. And we finished C Couple Two in 2018. It includes more, about 40 thousands of source lines of source code with Fortran APIs and the C++ coupling functionalities. C Couple 2 can be freely downloaded from the GitHub with the source code and documentations, and it is free for non-commercial usage. So compared to C Couple 1, C Couple 2 achieves a series of uh, new features, including flexible and automatic company generation, dynamic 3D company capability, facilitation for incremental company and model listing, and uh, 
the common flexible and user-friendly company configuration interface, non-blocking data transfer, adaptive restart capability for the flexible configuration of company next, and parallel online remapping weight generation, debugging capability in parallel, and the company intro one excludable or the same component model. More details of these new features can be found from the GMD paper that was published uh, in 2018. So next, I'd like to briefly introduce some new functionalities. The first is the automatic company generation. The coupling can be viewed as the coupling connections from sender components to receiver components. The coupling connections is achieved uh, essentially by a coupling flow chart that can include a series of uh, operations such as the interpolation, data transfer, data averaging, and the data type transformation. The automatic coupling generation functionality can automatically generate the operations in coupling flow chart. So we, those that, we, we just find that this uh, capability is significant for improving the friendliness and reliability of SQLab2. The automatic coupling generation capability of SQLab2 can be conducted at different levels, such as intro a component model among a set of component models or among a family of component models or among all component models in the coupled model. Let, next, I'd like to briefly introduce the functionality of dynamic 3D coupling. In the past, we find that 2D coupling related to the horizontal grids are enough for model coupling. But uh, now there are some requirements of 3D coupling, be, for example, between an ocean model and a wave model, or between an atmosphere model or an atmospheric chemistry model. And we know that there are some requirements for dynamic 3D coupling. For example, due to because the pressure-based terrain flowing coordinate makes the pressure values that are known as uh, vertical coordinate values in 3D grids of an atmosphere model or atmospheric chemistry model change with the surface pressure in time integration. So we just define such kind of uh, coupling between different 3D grids with variable vertical coordinated values as one kind of dynamic 3D coupling. We find that there are at least two challenges for the implementation. The first is how to adaptively calculate pressure values following the dynamic change of the surface pressure. The second is how to adaptively update vertical remapping weights after recalculating vertical coordinate values. To simplify the implementation, we employed a horizontal 2D plus vertical 1D implementation, where the 2D remapping weights can keep unchanged constantly throughout the time integration, while we can dynamically update the vertical coordinate values and 1D remapping weights according to the change of surface pressure. There are a series of operations such as 2D interpolation of the surface pressure, update of vertical data values, update of 1D remapping weights, and 3D interpolation that are fully parallelized in C-Cover 2. And, last, uh, and next, I'd like to briefly introduce the functionality for the incremental coupling. In C-Cover 2, there is a flag flexible management of component models in the hierarchical levels. For example, the component one is the parent of the component four and component five, and the component five is the parent of component six and component seven. And also the component five and the, uh, component four can share a part of processes. These hierarchical levels of uh, component model management enable C-Cover to be compatible to other couplers in the world, an existing coupled model can be referred as a component model in C Couple 2 for incremental coupling. We also measured some performance regarding to C Couple 
C couple two. The next figure shows the initialization cost of C couple two. That increases fast with the increment of processes. So in the next version, C couple three, we will try to minimize the initialization, co the initialization cost or even achieve scalable initialization. And we know that the memory usage on the left figure, on the right figure, is reasonable now. We also measure the performance of dynamic 3D copying. The two figures above shows the, show the global vertical profile of the temperature from an atmospheric model to an atmospheric chemistry model at two different model time. The coexistence between the two lines, the red line and the dashed black line, demonstrates that the dynamic 3D coupling implementation C couple two is correct. And we also measured the parallel speed up as shown in the figure below, which demonstrates that the scalar performance of Dynamic 3D coupling is quite well currently. So with these new features, the couple two achieves a wide usage in China now, in a number of institutions and the several key research projects in China. So at the end, I'd like to briefly introduce the future work. It is is the couple three. In the C-Cup three, we are focused on, focusing on several aspects. First is fast regionalization. And we finished some work just following the link of uh, the GMD discussion paper. I just try to accelerate the, the, the generation of uh, the routine network. And uh, next, uh, we, we, we will just uh, focus on the remapping with generation based on triangulation of grids for commonality. And we also finished some work as a parallel approach for the regulation. And uh, we also now enable C couple two or C couple three to, to couple a model and an external procedure that is enclosed in a dynamic linking library. And uh, we also basically finished a beta version of uh, an efficient the ensemble data simulation framework and more details can be found from the following link. That is a GMD discussion paper now. Thanks a lot for your attention.